What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fishing Coach YouTube channel. We're about to talk about how I have been banned from being a boat captain in certain high school tournaments. We're going to go a little bit more on that after that. I want to ask you guys, leave me a comment what you think about it as I talk about this throughout the video. Uh, I want to hear your guys' feedback on it. I'm going to share mine as well. Guys, if it's your first time checking out the channel, man, go ahead, go ahead and subscribe. I do a few talking videos like this, but I'm, I'm mainly getting to more of topics on fishing. Um, and this is just one of the random ones today. But I also do videos with offshore bass fish. I show a lot of live scope instruction footage as well. And uh, guys, anyways, go ahead and subscribe. Help me grow the channel. Appreciate you guys watching today's video. What's up, guys? Take two. Take two. So um, I made this video and then I have had updates. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a whole update on the band situation because some of it's pretty confusing right now and I've not even heard from people higher up. I'm kind of a little bit upset about one of the situations. We're about to get into it. But guys, so the, let's just kind of go backtrack real quick. I'm the uh, coach, the coach on paper for the school district, Nashville, uh, down there in Nashville, Arkansas. I have coached and taught these kids, known them for a long time. I coached them, taught them before I got out of teaching education. So I have relationships with them, been there at the school. There you go. There's kind of a history there. And then I volunteered to be the school fishing coach, okay? And we are the guy, and we've done it. So, guys, one of the situations is is now that I'm a guide on some lakes, that's caused some problems. Not just a guy, but I'm a professional. I do this for a living. Even though I'm not a professional tournament angler that's won Bassmaster Classics or competed in the Classic, whatever, guys, I'm just a dude, right? So, there's two series right now that I've been banned of. Well, one's a tournament, and I get it. The, the first one is the Arkansas Game and Fish Foundation's Commissioner Cup. They, uh, they, they, they called me told me and, and, and the tournament's on Hamilton and I've not made any money on Hamilton I've not done one trip on Hamilton and guys besides it I know I'm a guide but I'm not really I've only done a few guided trips like a few my biggest thing is that on the water lesson where I get in your boat on the water electronic lessons I've done them without electronics but the I get in your boat teach you how to use your electronics set up your live scope we go from there and that's been a big hit and been popular down here and uh, it's kind of made some noise so that's kind of the like, I've not even, like, done guide trips. I've done, like, one or two guide trips, okay? So, anyway, that's kind of there. But, like, so I got told I can't be a captain for my team for the Commissioner Cup at Hamilton. Um, and I've not made any money on Hamilton. But, guys, I get it. They've been pretty strict on it. Um, you know, and, and I guess that local guy kind of goes with Hamilton, but I've only done the gray Washita. But guys, I love the Commissioner Cup. I love what they've done. I'm not upset at them. They've been pretty tight on it. They've not let Bo Browning, his dad, Stephen Browning, a uh, professional angler, they didn't let him be a captain. They didn't let Mark Davis uh, captain his sons. And I've also was a captain when we won the Commissioner Cup in 2020. So anyway, I'm, not, I'm unhappy about that. Let's talk about the one I'm unhappy about. It's the Arklatech Bassmaster Series, okay? And I'm unhappy because it's been just so bad, bad communication. And, and just it's just a, it's all the way bad, okay? I'm just going to say it. And, I, you know, I was a captain for him at a tournament back in the fall for about one, one team this year. And the other tournaments, we had stuff come up or other dates. I actually captained kids on this lake for another series, okay? And uh, they called me. They actually didn't call me. That's the first problem. Um, they called and told one of my dad, so we had a championship last weekend, and our kids, the championship was at Millwood and Patman, and the, 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 the tournament director, which he can, I guess, do what he wants because he's the tournament director, he told one of the other kids' dads that I can't be a captain, so he never called me. He told them. Then I decided to call him, and I got told I can't be a captain, which, hey, he said because I'm a local guide, but local guide, like, guys, I've not been on Millwood to fish once this year. And so, like, I was there, it's like, time out. I'm a local guide, but I don't live at Nashville anymore. I've lived here in Hot Springs. Second, here's the big thing about it. They called me Saturday and said, oh, hey, everything's good. You can, you could have, you can captain. Time out, because we had some parents supposedly complained to the tournament director. And then he said, I can't captain. Then all of a sudden, he called me and told me, oh, everything's good. But, so everything's good. And that's my problem. We had kids at the house that did not fish this tournament due to their original captain went to go fish a bigger tournament. I couldn't find a captain. I could have been these two kids' captain. They stayed at the house. So you're going to call me Saturday after the first day of competition and then say everything's, oh, you're good. I, I just I, I just want to hear y'all's thoughts on it. So, guys, you know my story if you watch and follow the channel. Um, as a coach, like I said, for 12 years, I have... Um, been in this for the kids, if you can tell. I don't fish tournaments. 
uh, rarely. I fish some here and there, you know, but I don't fish tournaments rarely. I rather do more to teach kids fish, take kids fish. And I get it if they're gonna tell me I can't because I'm full time. Hey, I get it. But we need to be more, I guess, communication on it. So like, I wanna hear y'all's thoughts. Like, let me hear y'all's thoughts on what y'all think about this, okay? Uh, we have another tournament coming up later this month and I'm probably gonna be told I can't be for it. It's at Lake Washita, but guys, like I, I kind of get that because I've done trips on Lake Washita, okay? But these, the other trips was Millwood Patman, and I know you guys watch the channel or like, Jimmy, you fish Millwood and done really good at Millwood. Guys, but there's dads that have been fishing Millwood longer than I've been alive, okay? So that's one thing about high school fishing guys and college fishing. There's so much gray area. There's so much with the boat captains, the dads, and those situations. And if y'all know y'all followed me, my dad did not tournament fish my dad didn't take me out so i had to do a lot of learning on my own i do remember showing up to a junior bass tournament though where a kid jumped in the boat with a guy we've never seen and they won cracked him, and we found out that was a guide and like it, it bothered me so i get I, I seen that happen guys i seen it it bothered me um so i see both sides i'm very understanding but with that too Okay, like, once again, I get it if it's a lake that, like, I've been on and we've caught 12 and a half pounders on, right? Or we've caught 11 pounders on, okay? I, like, I, I get that, right? I mean, like I said, I get it. But there's so much gray area right now in college and high school fishing with the information, with the dads as the captains and the history, this and that, okay? But all in all, I'm trying to help kids get them out in the lake, take them fishing, and teach them. That's all that I'm trying to do, okay? It's nothing about me. If it was about me, okay, I could I would just tell my wife and my kids, hey, y'all, y'all hang out on the weekend. I'm gonna go fish tournaments, okay? But I don't do that. I hang out with my wife and kids on the weekend, right? Okay, but when when I do take a weekend off, I like to take some kids fishing, okay? I really, really do. So, but guys, and also in these tournament series, I'm going everywhere now. There's been some of these kids that have a different boat captain every tournament. Like if they're if they're a local on Hamilton, Hamilton houses, right? Hamilton. And they go to Lake like Columbia, they somehow jumped, they somehow got a guy from Columbia as their boat captain. Okay? That ain't right, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now, that's not right, okay? But guys, um, with it, y'all know I'm in it for the kids. So guys, I just wanna hear your thoughts. Like, like I've already told you, I'm in it for the kids. I'm all about helping kids and teaching them about fishing, teaching you guys about it as well. And like I said, I get it if you're upfront with me and it's like laid out, you can't do it. But the whole kind of a going in a circle it just didn't rub me the right way. And uh, once again, with a guy like me that's in it for the kids, and uh, and like I said, you know, guys, if you've watched the channel, I, may, I mentioned in one video, uh, I'm about to be actually doing a lot more for the kids. I'm gonna go ahead and give this up to y'all right now. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes, FCA, reached out to me, and um, we've had a couple months of uh, kind of figuring it out, praying guys, and kind of seeing if this is something I wanna do, and I mean, I'm worth doing it, I'm excited about it, but we're gonna be doing the FCA Outdoors. I'm going to be starting up the outdoors in South Central Arkansas and uh, and then kind of, you know, probably going in the Central Arkansas parts as well, but going to be going in the schools, finding kids that hunt and fish, ministering, ministering to them, teaching them about fishing, teaching them about life and guys just being there for kids. So that's something new I'm about to be involved with, excited about. And uh, if, if you're interested in hearing more about it, shoot me a message on my Jimmy Eastern Fishing Facebook page. I'm going to talk about it more in upcoming videos. Um, I'm, I'm excited about it. And that's gonna be something new I'm gonna be doing for kids, guys. I'm gonna be dropping job avenues I'm doing. I'm gonna be dropping this guide stuff, hopefully, and just be all in it, okay? Uh, but guys, appreciate it. Once again, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think.